In this mini video lecture, I am going to solve a problem to find out if a given input number is odd or even. We all know that numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on are referred to as odd numbers. Even numbers are numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now this should give you an idea. All multiples of 2 happen to be even numbers and non-multiples of 2 happen to be odd numbers. So we will use this particular information to determine if an input number is odd or even. So first thing, in order to determine if a number is odd or even, we can use something called as the mod operator. Mod operator is given by the percentage sign in C or you can use this mod word. So what mod does is given a number, if you divide it by some, some number, the remainder gives is given by the mod operation. So if I have the number 10, so 10 is divisible by 2 5 times and the remainder is 0. So I can say automatically that 10 is an even number because the remainder is 0. Now let's take a number like 7. 2 3s are 6. Okay, remainder is 1. Now I can confidently say 7 is an odd number. So multiples of 2 are even. Multiples of not num mul sorry numbers which are not multiples of 2 are odd. So the best way to know whether a number is odd or even is by using the mod operation which gives the remainder. So in order to solve this problem what I need to do is I need to declare a variable called as num. That means it is referring to some memory location. I can give it the initial value 0. Then the next step what I will do is I will ask the user to enter a value of number. Let's say he enters 10 as the number. Then here if you look unlike the previous problem here there are two possibilities. The number can be odd or the number can be even. So what I will do is I will say like this. If number mod 2 is equal to 0 that means if you take the number divide it by 2 if the remainder is 0 then that number is a even number otherwise or else the number is not a even number so let's try to go through the logic so the first step is i am declaring a variable called as number whose value is zero then next step what i am doing is i am reading a number from the keyboard so some number is entered by the user then it is very simple in the first step what i am going to do here is i am going to check like the previous one if number mod 2 equal to 0 let's say the number is 10 10 divided by 2 if the remainder is 0 then this condition is true and it is going to print number is even but suppose i enter the number 11 11 mod 2 is definitely not 0 then this part is false so what i do is i come to the else part in the else part i print number is odd and then i stop the best way to understand this take a test plan let's say we take the first number let's take a number like 21 so i read a number number is 21 21 mod 2 so if i divide 21 by 2 the remainder happens to be 1 so 1 is not equal to 0 so this condition is false or no so i will automatically come to the else and print the message number is odd all right now let's take another number let's take the number 26 26 divided by 2 or 26 mod 2 the remainder is now 0 so this condition becomes true or yes so i am going to print the message number is even and then come and stop if you have an if and else only one of them is going to execute you cannot execute both of them because if this is true then this has to be false if this is false then this has to be true so if is true then this fellow will get executed if the if is false the else part will get executed so this should give you an idea of the next decision making statement called as the if and else in the if and else i am using the conditions to make a decision which requires two parts it can be true or it can be false if it is true I am saying even, if it is false I am saying odd. So if you want to look at the general syntax or the general construct 
of the if else statement it will look something like this so this is the general statement of the if then and else so if same here condition one is true that is represented by num mod 2 equal to 0 then is as written as it is now all these between this block any number of statements or any number of instructions zero or more will only get executed or will only run if this condition is true if this condition is false automatically this statement a statement v till statement z will get executed so this should give you an idea of one more control flow statement because based on the condition it will either flow here or it will flow here and this is the general syntax for the control flow statement so i hope you have understood the use of if and else in your programming